All right, everybody, how's it going? It is your host, Bad Boy Swag420, or the leader of the band. So I've already done two videos about this. This is probably going to be my last one because I've exhausted this topic, I think. And, uh, you know, I, I just... Maybe in the future, if there's different tech to make this easier or if I'm afforded a product that is worthy of review or, um, you know, just to test out and show you guys how it works, uh, it'll 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 come. Uh, but for now, this is going to be the final way that I show you how to go about uh, streaming audio from your main PC or your gaming PC to your second PC for Twitch streaming purposes or if you're doing like a podcast or you just have a different uh, or a unique setup then this might be something that you're interested in. So um, I use a I use a mixer and I also use a program called Voice Meter Banana. So let's go ahead and check this uh, Voice Meter Banana application out online. So if you go to vb-audio.com, you can go ahead and download this program. It's completely free or it's called Donationware. So if you enjoy the product and you like what you're, you know, you're playing with, feel free to send them a, a generous donation. I'm going to be sending them $100 just because I really, really love this software. It's completely free. It, this software is so good. I could imagine this being quite uh, pricey. Um, so yeah, you would just go to, um, you know, vbaudio.com, scroll on down and then right here where it says voice meter, uh, exe. Yeah, that's what you're going to want. So the a new version just came out last month in November of 2018. So that that's, that's what you're going to want to download. Uh, this is just a, not a bare bones package, but this is a, a, a lot smaller than the new rendition of this program which is called Voice Meter Potato. Uh, they, they virtually do the same thing. However, Voice Meter Potato has a lot more inputs right here. And you get more output channels as well. So th this has a lot going on for it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wonderful program, and of course, it is completely free. So again, you would just uh, click on the Potato tab, scroll on down, and this is version 3.0.0.4. Um, I don't believe these will work with Mac. Uh, I could be wrong, but Macs suck anyway. So, yeah. So once you, uh, you know, download Voice Meter Banana, the more minimalist uh, program, <laughs> it's one way to put it. Um, what do you do? How are you going to use this software to transfer audio to a streaming PC? So first off, you got to ask yourself, what is your objective? What do you have your setup like? I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. And hopefully my setup can guide you in the right direction. Or maybe I will have the exact answer that you need. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up my uh, sound settings so I can go a little more in depth with my objective, with what my agenda is with doing all of this. So with that being said, what do I have uh, plugged into my computer right now? So I have the mixer plugged in via USB. So that uh, that's an output being uh, that's an output that is one output. I apologize. Uh, another output would be my microphone on my USB headset, okay, and um, and then of course this microphone that you're hearing me on, which is my XLR uh, Rode NT1A microphone. It's connected to the mixer, but it, it's for all intents and purposes an output. <laughs> um, okay, so once you download Voice Meter Banana, you're gonna restart your computer, and if you go to playback options. You're going to set the VB audio aux input, VB audio uh, voice meter aux, V-A-I-O. That's going to be your default device. And then your uh, default communication device, it, it, it could be your USB headset. Now, I have a USB gaming headset from Sennheiser. Um, I forgot the exact model. I'm going to go ahead and throw it up uh, on the screen right now for you to see. So I have that. It's got, you know, virtual surround sound. It's got crisp, clear audio. Of course, it's just the quality that you've come to expect from Sennheiser. However, having that device on at the same time as a mixer, they don't play well together. You can only use one or the other, and then you got to do a bunch of really wonky shit to be able to get everything to work. And, of course, you can uh, tell by watching the previous video that I made. But with Voice Bean or Banana... You don't have to worry about all that crazy stuff. This is going to be a lot more straightforward uh, in terms of setting up because it's really, really easy with Voice Beater Banana. All right, so the recording 
settings. Okay, so you're seeing me talk right now. So right now you can hear uh, you got the little uh, sound meter for the MGXU. That's my Yamaha mixer. And of course, that's the, the green bar right there. That's the XLR uh, microphone that's attached. That's my Rode NT1A microphone. I have a webcam set up for uh, videos and streaming uh, on both computers, actually. So you're, my voice is being picked up from there. However, uh, here, my main default device is the Sennheiser Communication Audio, which is just the standard headset that, or the standard microphone that comes with my Sennheiser headset. So I'm going to speak into it right now, so just to show you that it's working. All right, testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, so this is what your settings are going to look like. The default device is going to be, you know, your your microphone that's attached via USB, um, the one that you've always been using before you started uh, adventuring into streaming and podcasting and whatnot. Um, and I do that because I want to be able to communicate with individuals, uh, random players, uh, online. When I'm playing Deceit, when I'm playing Friday the 13th, when I'm playing, uh, you know, uh PUBG, uh, I want my teammates to hear me. So they are going to hear me through my uh, USB Sennheiser gaming headset, not my Rode NT1A microphone. The Rode NT1A microphone is going to be used specifically for the stream. Granted, uh, I think there are ways to make it so you can just use, you know, your Rode NT1A microphone and have it route different ways. But for me, this is what I want to do. It just seems a lot easier. I don't want to, I want one microphone to have one specific function and I want another microphone to have a different specific function function. Just because, uh, if I set my, if I'm recording something, um, and I, and the microphone is already in use, it might conflict with a different program. So that's one of the reasons why I want to do it this way. It just makes things, it makes it more likely that nothing is going to not work. All right. So that is the windows sound settings. That's what it should look like. Now, uh, if you can tell I'm recording the whole screen. So we got a lot going on in the center of the screen here on voice meter banana. This is of course the latest version as I showed you. All right. So what does any of this mean? What are we going to do? Okay. So the USB headset, the Sennheisers, they're plugged in. That's how I hear everything. So right here, this section, these are audio outs. These are hardware outs. These, um, your inputs are going to be going out to, um, right here, what I'm highlighting. Um, so we have audio one, audio two, audio three out. So these are all outputs. I'm only utilizing two. So right now I want all the audio that my computer hears to go to the Sennheiser headset. So WDM headset, earphone, Sennheiser communication audio. You can do speakers. I don't think, I think these are exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure, but this is what works for me. It's either going to be one or the other. Uh, you might experience this, uh, experience something like this with your specific headphones or headsets. And now the second audio out is the Elgato HD360 uh, video card. It's uh, an internal video card or uh, capture card, and it's in my streaming PC. So you're probably wondering, how is this device being picked up right now from the gaming PC? Okay, well, you know, you have the Elgato connected uh, via HDMI cable to the back of the video card on my main gaming PC. So that's why we have that. And all the audio... Um, on the computer is going to be sent to that Elgato capture card. Very straightforward. Now that that's, that's able to occur because of the HDMI cable, you can transfer audio and, and other things through the HDMI cable. So that's why this pops up. So my second audio out is going to be this. All right. Pretty straightforward. Now we have hardware inputs. Okay, so I'm not utilizing this MGXU, except, well, for right now I am, but I'm using it to record this uh, video. However, um, I can send it to audio one if I want to, but then I'm going to hear an echo. I don't need to hear this voice. I don't need to monitor this because I'm going to have a different pair of headphones on the gaming PC and I'll monitor the audio there just to make sure things are working. Uh, I could periodically check it, but you know, once you get a, you know, a couple streams in 
and you know what you're doing, you really don't need to monitor it. So I'm not going to be sending it to A1. However, I am going to be sending it to A2. So A2 is Audio 2 hardware. That is my Elgato uh, capture card. So on my streaming PC, I'm going to hear everything that I'm saying right now. So of course you can tell that the microphone, the Rode NT1A microphone uh, connected to the mixer, which is the MGXU, is working because you can see the levels clearly right here. Now, uh, this is my default playback device. So if I play a song from, uh, let's say Media Monkey, which is my media player, let's go ahead and play a song. Okay, so that is showing up uh, right here, the voice meter aux. And um, so these sounds, here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause that. All right, so now uh, I killed that audio. Um, let's see, other Windows noises? Yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do, everything that are uh, these virtual inputs right here, you wanna also send those to the um, the appropriate uh, hardware outs. So you're gonna wanna send the, the audio A1, which is my headsets, so I can hear my computer noises, and you also wanna send it to the Elgato capture card. So you can tell that they're gonna be sent there because these are highlighted, they're highlighted green. So green, that's, uh, that's the go, that's the green light. So A1 is gonna get that audio, and A2 is gonna get that audio. And that's how you do it, guys. And, um, and of course, when I'm not streaming, of course, I'm not streaming right now, um, you know, I can use my, my uh, condenser microphone whenever I'd like for other projects. So if I have Camtasia open and I'm going to be doing voiceover work um, or doing a voice narration or I'll be doing voice acting on, um, you know, whatever Adobe product or I'm going to be doing um, some goofy recording on Morph Vox Pro. Uh, I can use the XLR um, uh, channel on the mixer, or which is my Rode NT1A microphone. It's very straightforward, very easy, and I absolutely love it. This is just a wonderful, wonderful program. Um, you know, I can't complain. I, I absolutely can't complain. And um, you know, this has been a this has been a wonderful program. I, I wouldn't have been able to have such a simple setup. Um, you know, without Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter Banana absolutely makes this just so pleasant and easy to use. Uh, a lot of the times people just don't, you know, know what they're doing. Um, when it comes to setting this up, there's just not a lot of information out there. People ramble on and on about things that don't matter. You know, they talk about personal shit. I'm just, gonna, I'm just trying to give you the facts, all right? I'm just trying to tell it to you straight. I'm a straight shooter. All right, so of course, um, with all these other inputs, I mean, you can input all kinds of stuff here. You can do, uh, you can get a virtual cable and put like, you know, Discord in here and you can route that audio specifically to certain spots if you'd like. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this. If you're podcasting, I mean, there's just so many options for you to really get a really um, sophisticated yet simple stream going or a podcast going, uh, you know, your Twitch. Setting it up is really easy. You don't need a mixer. If you don't have the money for a mixer, get an audio interface. I have a Scarlett 2i2 that I'm not using anymore, but that would have done exactly the same thing. You don't. If you want to use a good microphone, invest in a good microphone, a simple um, audio interface. You know, you can put it all on your regular computer. If you want to do some other stuff on your computer with your XLR microphone, great, you can. And the only thing you're going to need on the second computer is just Streamlabs. And make sure you got a pair of headphones connected to it and have that as your regular, um, you know, playback device and your recording device. And you're Gucci, man. You're Gucci. Um, you're, gonna, you're not going to have any problems. Now, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you a sample of what is possible with this setup. Um, it'll be exactly as I showed you. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you a uh, tour of my desk. All right. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to take one second. 
All right, guys, so here is a tour. So right here is the mixer. That's a Yamaha MG10XU. That's connected all the way up here to my main gaming PC over here to the left. So this big sucker right here. And uh, I got the webcam connected to it. And I also uh, have a separate webcam on the stream PC. So let's go ahead and turn over to that. And uh, let's take a look at the rear of the Elgato HD60 Pro. So the in, um, the input is going to be... Uh, plugged into the gaming PC right on the back of the um, video card. So right here. I'm actually doing a voice narration because I disabled the audio in the um, <laughs> the video that I was recording on my phone. All right, so it's connected to my uh, GTX 1070. Here's a Rode NT1A microphone. This is one of the best condenser microphones that you can buy. Uh, I don't want to know. I don't know if it's like uh, consumer friendly, but it's great for voiceover work, vocal vocal work, voice narration, and of course for uh, podcasting. And of course, I got all these studio lights everywhere. Uh, these are fun. Oh, you can see what a mess I look like through the screen. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, you, I got fans up the ass to keep everything cool during the summer. Uh, you don't need liquid cooling, to be honest. All right. So, everything. Uh, here's my streaming PC. So, I have Streamlabs up. So, everything that is on my gaming PC or my ra my main PC is being mirrored on here. So, I got uh, Camtasia open. Of course, I'm editing this video uh, as I'm... Um, recording this right now and it's not complete so i'm playing some music on my um main gaming pc so if you look to the bottom right hand corner of the stream pc monitor uh you can see the uh, the audio level or the desktop audio just bouncing up and down yeah that's that's what this is so there it is in all its beauty i'm um, just playing some more music let's see if we can go ahead and zoom in give you a better shot all right um, so let's go ahead and open up a game. So I'm going to open up a game and show you. All right, let's just do Comedy Night just because it's a small game and it shouldn't take that long. Um, and, I'm, and I still have music playing in the background. So uh, the condenser microphone is not disabled, so it's still hot. So it's it's picking up a little bit, but it's mostly picking up the music and uh, the noises from the, the computer. So yeah, here it is. So there's Comedy Night. In, uh, on the stream PC, the regular PC, stream PC to the regular PC. Um, everything that is on the main PC is being mirrored perfectly. It's capturing all the audio perfectly. All the audio from the main PC is being routed via the HDMI cable to the stream PC. Streamlabs is picking it up. If you watch the two previous videos that I made, you will get an idea as to how to set that up. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to do it in this video because I don't want to be overly redundant. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the sound settings really quick on the stream PC. If you just go ahead and go to, here, let me go ahead and move this so you guys can see it. So the playback device, you just want it to be the Realtek uh, sound card. Um, and I'm going to show you at the very end how I have that set up. And the recording, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to want the Realtek, here, let me zoom in, the Realtek audio, the default device for recording. Um, and again, the, I'm monitoring it through my Momentum Sennheiser headset. Uh, I have the this little cable that I use to plug into my phone. And it's a microphone. If you get this little attachment right there, you can plug that into the Sennheiser cable that connects to the Sennheiser Momentum headphones. And uh, yeah, you can hear and talk and use it as normal. And of course, the Yamaha mixer, if I were to use effects, they would work. You would hear them on the stream PC. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an expert in audio. I'm just a hobbyist. I know a little bit about audio. Uh, I know quite a bit about hardware. Uh, I know what's good. I know what's not. But I'm not an expert, but I'll do my best to help. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Have a good night or day.